Well, several anti-hate bills passed the Pennsylvania House this week. Lawmakers say this is especially necessary now. Sonica Bargo joins us now with more on this story. Sonica. Dennis, the bill's sponsor cited a rise in threats to Jewish and Muslim communities because of the war between Israel and Hamas. And this also comes just after the anniversary of the Tree of Life shooting. Lawmakers and community members tell me all this highlights why these bills are necessary. A step forward against hate. We can't tolerate any kind of hate-based violence in our communities. Three bills focused on hate crimes passed the Pennsylvania House, sponsored by Democrats Dan Frankel and Napoleon Nelson. What we've seen is hate-motivated violence against targeted groups, uh, and it's an epidemic. The first bill would expand protections to victims targeted because of gender identity, sexual orientation, age, or disability. The second would provide law enforcement with training to identify and investigate hate crimes. And the third would require colleges to have an online and anonymous reporting option. It's things like that that make a minority community feel like they're welcome. David Cohen, president of the Jewish Federation of Greater Harrisburg, says the timing is significant. The bills passed days after the anniversary of the Tree of Life massacre and less than a month after the deadly Hamas attack in Israel. The Jewish community is feeling very at risk. It rocks you to your core. And Cohen says it goes beyond the Jewish community. Our Harrisburg family and my personal family was threatened at gunpoint. In October, police say a man pointed a gun at people rallying in support of Palestinians at the state capitol and yelled ethnic slurs. It's devastating, right? According to FBI data, hate crimes have been rising since 2018. This is uh, particularly critical right now. So advocates say we need these protections now. We need to provide our communities with the tools to protect those vulnerable populations, particularly in a time of heightened uh, insecurity. Acknowledge the damage that hate can do and why you need to stand up a little stronger and a little louder in the face of it. Now, only a handful of Republicans voted with Democrats in the House, so these bills could face an uncertain future in the Republican-controlled Senate. But Representative Frankel tells me he has worked with Senate leaders before and hopes they'll lend support to this issue. In the studio of Sonica Bargo, Dennis, back to you. Sonica.